And I'll be blunt as well. Housing isn't a primary federal responsibility. When you think what is the number one issue facing Canadians right now, of course, inflation and the cost of living is at the top of that list. But what about your housing? Housing is everywhere. You talk about it municipally, provincially, federally. So who's responsible for this? Well, according to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, it's not the federal government. Hello, I'm Adrian Batra. With me is Warren Kinsella. And Warren, I, I'm not trying to be overly dramatic with respect to the housing issue, but it has reached crisis level in this country because what we see at city after city, a municipality all across this country, coast to coast, we have more immigration coming, which is so important for our economic security in this country, but we have nowhere to house these, these individuals that are coming. And then we have a homeless crisis in our most municipalities and so many refugees taking up shelter spaces in these cities, Toronto, for example, and the federal government not paying their fair share for those spaces. So I, it's just a vicious cycle, but then we hear Trudeau say, well, not our problem. He literally said that. He, he actually said the federal government doesn't really play a role in housing. And, you know, that probably was a big surprise to his minister who's responsible <laughs> for housing. And that's probably a surprise to the 630,000 people living in housing funded by the Central Mortgage and Housing Corporation. That's probably a surprise to parliamentarians who know that the federal government has had a formal role in housing in Canada since 1946 and has spent tens of millions of dollars helping to house Canadians, supporting them on mortgages so they can get housing. Like it, it was just a ridiculous statement for Trudeau to make. And he was a subject of ridicule on both the right and the left mm -hmm. because it just wasn't true. We know supply is the biggest challenge. Houses cannot get built fast enough. We have everyone from new Canadians to millennials to even I mean, every demographic looking to get into the housing market in spite of the increased inflation um, costs, they're still a path, they're still looking for their path to ownership, Warren, and, and they recognize, you know, renting, sure, a, so a short term solution, but even within the rental market, there's still such limited supply. You can't build fast enough, and we're not building new land the last time I checked. So what is the federal government's role here in terms of clearing the pathway in order for, for those housing starts to happen? Their role is to match their rhetoric with action. So just to cite refugees, as you did a, a little while ago, you know, the Justin Trudeau government was bringing refugees in, people, and properly so, people fleeing persecution for their religion or their sexual orientation, or what have you, or their political views. So we have an obligation. We've signed treaties internationally saying that we would accept our fair share of refugees and, and so to immigrants and so on. The Trudeau government has been saying, well, let's come to Canada. You know, we want you to come here. We've been saying that to Syrians, for example, since the terrible events have been taking place in that country. And then they get here and we have them sleeping on the sidewalk. And it got so bad that basically on her first day in office, you know, former NDP MP Olivia Chow and progressive conservative premier Doug Ford came together to jointly say to the Trudeau government, it's not good enough. You know, you can't be accepting these people into our country and not providing them with what many people internationally, including Canada, consider to be a human right, which is a roof over their heads. It doesn't have to be something fancy. But putting people on the street, putting them on the sidewalk after you brought them in, that's not right. So what the Trudeau government needs to do is match their rhetoric with action. And they've got the means to do so. And, you know, but too often that's the problem with the Trudeau government is they talk a good game, but they don't walk mm -hmm. it. Well, perhaps many Canadians will remember this inaction at the next federal election. Log on to the torontosun.com, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna find content there and coverage you will not find anywhere else. And go to X and share this video.